Imagine being imprisoned in your mind while your flesh rots away from your bones and you're aware that you're dead. The last thing you remember is that you were in the lotus position and focused mind controlling every aspect of your body when you died. Today, we're diving into one of the most astounding archaeological discoveries as we explore what happened in Dashi Dorzo Atijilov, a Buryat Buddhist Lama. Dashi Dorzo Atijilov was born in a small village in rural Buryatiyav. His parents left him when he was a small boy, and he had to become a shepherd to support himself. Among other things, Itijilov attended the Tibetan Buddhist school and first went to Eninskai Monastery in Siberia when he was 16 years old. In 1911, he was named the 12th Pandito Kambo Lama, the head of Buddhism in Russia. He only ever left Buryatia once in 1913. Because he spent so much time there, he was able to help the Buddhist community and read Buddhist scriptures. His studies were mostly about Buddhist writings in Tibetan and Sanskrit languages. After he became the spiritual leader of the Russian Buddhist community, Atijilov worked on a number of projects to help people. There were also efforts to raise money so that World War I soldiers could get food, clothes, and medical care. At this point, it's thought that he is not dead, but seriously meditating. The ascetic was found sitting in the lotus position with his legs crossed and wrapped in the skin of a cattle animal. Not only is he sitting, but it seems he is also doing the Dhyana Mudra, which is done with open hands stacked on top of each other. Atijilov is said to have told his students in 1927 that he was going to die soon after Buddhist monks were warned to leave the Soviet Union because they would be overwhelmed by red teachings and that they should dig up his body in 30 years. His last request was to be buried in the lotus position in which he had died. The monks were surprised to find no signs of decay when his remains were excavated and examined in 1955 and again in 1973. In 2002, Tijilov's body was excavated again in the presence of the leaders of the traditional Buddhist Sangha of Russia. It was thoroughly examined, not only by monks, but also by scientists and pathologists. The Lama's remains were in the condition of a person who had died 36 hours earlier, unharmed and without signs of decay. Some believe the Lama was poisoned, Others claim that he is in a state of hibernation and, in fact, still alive. After the final examination, the Lama was taken to a Buddhist temple where he will be worshipped for the rest of all time. So guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.